Today we're gonna to be unboxing a WebEx room kit. There's two types of room kits, a room kit and a room kit plus. We're doing the room kit and this is a Tech Talk. We're about to get started unboxing this room kit. I got Marshall with me. Hey, Marshall. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me and uh, excited to uh, open this up and actually uh, get going with a, uh, a new Cisco WebEx room kit. Let's unbox. All right, we're back. We got it all unboxed. The room kit is unboxed, and we are going to talk about the key components here. So we got a little iPad thingy and a uh, speaker bar thingy. So what do we got here, Marshall? Yeah, it's actually quite simple. It's all packaged really nicely. Uh, everything is in this unit, which is the uh, WebEx room kit device. Um, the codec, the camera, speakers, um, and uh, it looks very clean. The camera actually is a 5K camera that will um, uh, crop and frame uh, the, the active speaker. Um, it also has a microphone array to actually um, triangulate who is speaking in the room. Um, and lastly, it has an actual uh, regular microphone built in so that the far end can hear. Um, there's a lot of capabilities to expand upon this uh, and add additional peripherals. Uh, so we'll discuss that. But this is the, the main unit. And then... Uh, Here, I'll, I'll flip it over for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not that heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, you have dual display, which is great. So you can have one or two uh, displays. Uh, you can connect a uh, laptop uh, to share screens, um, as well as it has built-in wireless for sharing of screens as well. Um, What's that called? Proximity? That's exactly what it is. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then... Not I'm, just a pretty face. Uh, nice. <laughs> On the other side, we have uh, uh, networking. And then this over here looks like a network port, but it's actually to directly connect the control panel, which is a Touch 10. Um, this is the same unit that they use on all the other Cisco video endpoints. And you can connect this directly to uh, the unit, or you can connect it over the network. So uh, your choice. Um, and then it has some additional microphone inputs if you want either table or ceiling mics in a room and you need uh, a larger room um, as well as uh, you can uh, have a, uh, a sound out and then power so so pretty much everything built in uh, cool. into the unit all right so so we got power mic in sound out touchpad network is that a lock it is so obviously is going to be mounted on the wall or tv but it's uh just as easy to install, it's technically just as easy to uh, take, away. take away. So two displays, uh, input and service port. That's right, and uh, cool. we're not really gonna use the service port on this guy. It's gonna be working right when we plug it in. Perfect. All right, so we got the room kit mounting hardware here, and we're gonna talk a little bit about just the mounting of the room kit. So what do we got? Yeah, so what we have here on the table are the parts that we're gonna use. It comes with uh, all of this in the box. Um, and this is going to be a wall mount. So this mounts to the wall. These brackets will connect to the actual room kit and then they hang on the mount. And, uh, and it's as simple as that really. Um, they also come with some networking cables, HDMI, um, and so we'll be connecting all of those to the TV as well. Ooh, a little wipey, we can wipe it down. Keep it clean. All right, so we covered uh, the cables, we covered the mics, we covered the room kit and the touch panel. Now we're gonna get this thing actually mounted on the wall, registered, and let's make some video calls. All right, so we got the room kit mounted on the wall. Um, we wound up actually turning the, the mounting upside down because we're mounting it under the TV. Um, we're gonna clean up the wires and everything later, 
but uh, we're at the welcome screen, right? So what's our next step? Uh, so we have a choice. We can um, register this unit uh, to an on-prem registration server, or you can uh, register it uh, to the WebEx cloud. Nice. So let's get it registered, and we'll be right back. So what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, the room kit to the WebEx control hub, which is going to be registered to the cloud. Uh, logged into the control hub, we're going to add a place for this device. Let's just call this room kit next. I'm going to add a device next. We'll leave the calling off for now. We'll just say free calling default. We can always come back and add that. We can also integrate this in with calendar for one button to push. So this is going to generate a code. We're going to use this code to uh, pair the camera to the cloud. And that's it. So we got WebEx configured for the room kit. And now what we're going to do is register the room kit. So we're at the welcome screen and we're just going to go through the wizard, right? That's right. Register it for cloud. Okay. So we're going to hit next here and it's going to say it detected our ethernet. That's great. We're going to hit next. It's going to say, choose a call service. We're going to select the cloud and it pops up with a code. So what are we going to do with this code? Yeah, so this is the code I generated when I added a place in the WebEx control hub. And so it is that 16 digit code and we will just type it directly in. And continue on. Continue. So right here, this is going to actually uh, go over the internet. Um, it's speaking to the WebEx cloud and you can choose. Um, Change time zone. Do we want to leave it? What is it at? Uh, Los Angeles. Yep, Los Angeles is fine. Good. And next. Uh, let's do 12 hours. That's a little bit more common for us. Next. And display resolution. 4K, 30 hertz, or full HD, or full HD 60 hertz. So next. Adjust camera view. All right. What we did was to actually set this up, we kind of did something a little unorthodox for this particular unit, and we actually mounted it below the TV. And we did that for easy demo. Uh, in, in a production environment where you're putting this in, a, in an actual conference room, you would most commonly, if not always, mount this above the TV. Um, and then in that case, you have some options to tilt this camera down uh, to make sure that people are framed correctly. Um, we're actually leaving this tilted kind of in a, in a angle up so that we can be standing and the camera can still actually frame us. All right, so I'm just going to hit next. So we're here in the system volume. Yep, so the volume's coming out of the actual speakers of the room kit, not the TV, and you can make some adjustments. And it's actually detect checking the room. Yep, so all's good. Sounds okay. good. Sounds... Next. Setup done. Okay, so. So we're ready to place a call. All right, so we got the room kit registered on the WebEx cloud and we are gonna make our first call and do a little test with my buddy Marshall on the other end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the call button and I am gonna just type in Sean at my domain.com and we are gonna place a call right now. So we're gonna give him a call. Hello, Sean. Hey, Marshall. Hey, all right. So we're testing a call with a room kit and it's working. Simple as that. Power of video. All right, see you later, Marshall. Thanks for the demo. All right, so we've unboxed a room kit. We got it all registered for, uh, to the WebEx cloud. We made a couple test calls and we stepped through the GUI of like uh, registering on the cloud. Anything else? Everything from a functional level is uh, ready to go and it's uh, making calls. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching our Tech Talks. Make sure you like, subscribe. Hit us up if you want us to do another video. We'll catch you later.